Don't you just love playing on the road? Especially when the crowd is chanting defense and they're really loud. And then you have the chance to shut them up. I really do love it, man. It definitely ain't love, but it feels so good. <laughs> man, this is too fun being road assassins. The crowd is not showing me love, but it always feels so good. And we're pushing the basketball. The crowd is quiet now. They're chanting defense all game long. He doesn't know what I'm doing. Kawhi Leonard. Swiper, no swipey. Give me that. KG in the post. His bigs are too weak in the post. No post defense for you. Don't you just love it when players have point guards that can't shoot? It makes it so easy to defend. So, so easy. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at this. I'm not even touching the dude. Is it going to be the same case with Rondo and Dwayne Wade in Chicago? Who knows? But CP to KG. Do you want to boogie? Do you want to boogie with me? <laughs> I guess not. Exclamation point. Cherry on top. We still need them coins. Hey, what's going on you guys? So I got some bad news and some good news. Uh, let me start off with the bad news I guess and finish off with the good. Because that's what I usually do if people ask me if, I, <laughs> if there's a bad news and good news. If people ask me which one do I want first, I always say the bad news first. Because I always want to end it on a high note with the good news. Alright, let's get this bad news out of the way. The first thing I want to talk about is, you know how I didn't post a video for a week? It's very unfortunate because I promised you guys I would post two videos in a day in my previous video, which I didn't, and after a week I haven't even posted one, excluding this video. The problem is that something popped up in real life, and it's very unfortunate because every time I say I'm going to do something in a video, something always happens in real life which delays what I was supposed to do. I know YouTube isn't my job or anything, I'm not obligated to do this, but it's something that I like doing for fun, and especially when you got a loyal fan base like you guys, I got a decent amount of subscribers. Um, it's, you know, it's very hard not to post for you guys. I think about it daily when I'm not able to post. It really hurts because I know you guys are waiting for videos, you guys want to see more, you guys want to see more content out of my channel and from myself, and sometimes I just can't. I remember before when I said I was going to post something, my exams came up in school, so I didn't post for like one one month or two months, so that was delayed. And then when I came back, I said I would be posting again, then something happened again, which was really unfortunate where my computer broke down and I couldn't post for two weeks because my computer was busted, I had a virus, I had to change some parts, I had to clean it. Um, I had lost all my software, I had to find my, <laughs> you know, it was a long process, I had to find the gameplay again. So yeah, that happened and I got delayed for another 2-3 weeks. And now when I returned again, wow, <laughs> I feel like Derek Rose right now. Now when I returned again, I don't know how, for the how many the time, uh, I think a few weeks ago when I came back and I posted videos again, um, I lost my job in real life. <laughs> I'm saying real life because some people think you know might think YouTube is, a, is my job or whatever but it's not um, I lost my job in real life you know I've been working for that company for three years now and they decided to lay me off because our business well our company wasn't making enough money so they cut off a lot of hours they laid me off etc etc it wasn't nothing personal it was just a business decision this is something I completely understand because this is what I study in school if you guys are wondering I never mentioned it I think I'm studying economy economics and finance in school pieces have to be moved if the company's not moving forward but don't take it personal if it's you because you always need good references for the future 
but for real losing my job is really it really hurts because you know i live alone with my mom um she pays for the rent but i pay for everything else you know i pay for the food i pay for the electricity i pay for the bus passes i pay for the internet i pay for the phone you know i have my visa credit cards yo oh my goodness i have my school loans i have a lot of stuff to pay off and I, you know i'm in debt as well i'm in debt by about ten thousand dollars so losing my job is really really crucial so you know i had to look for a job this past week i found multiple options but i'm still searching i'll probably talk about that in the next video because this one's almost winding down i even talk about the good news yet <laughs> so yeah that's the bad news i lost my job so for this past week i've been searching i had to redo my cv i hope you guys can understand this uh i'm not posting just because I don't want to, it's just that, you know, I have to look for a job, you know, I have to look for some income, you know, pay my bills, pay my debt, help out my mom, you know, I'm, I'm like a one-man army, you know, school, work, I'm in university, I have to work as well, you know, I have to work, study, etc., you know, I have to be very, um, very responsible right now, because I'm 24 years old, I'm not a kid anymore, I'm 24, I'm almost, you know, I'm halfway through my, <laughs> I don't know, halfway through my 20s, you could say, so, I have to be a very responsible person right now and it's very tough so hope you guys could understand this so that's the bad news oh and if you follow me on twitter you guys would be um updated with these because i've been posting these status updates on twitter so i only have a minute left in this video i'll be touching on the good news shortly but i will be explaining these um this matters <laughs> this matters terrible these matters in the next video once again so i could explain a bit more the bad news and the good news so the good news real quick is that i got a elgato hd60 despite losing my job i still had a little bit of money left and i decided to invest it in my youtube channel for you guys elgato hd60 is basically a recording software that records in 60 frames per second so that basically means my future videos probably in one or two weeks is going to be amazing quality because i still have to finish up the videos that I didn't post yet in my old Elgato so that's just something to look forward to I am so excited for that I'm gonna probably <laughs> I'm not gonna promise anything because you know life is very you, you can't you can't predict life man I'm not gonna promise anything but <laughs> oh man I'm just really excited for the future of my channel hopefully you guys stick with me through the hard times and we'll be getting some good times very soon man just <laughs> appreciate your support Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to get flashed, please be sure to share and like this video. To stay updated, click subscribe and also follow GFlash on Twitter.